let's now see that if you are given some items which relate to a profit and loss account how do you prepare a gross value added statement from these profit and loss account now just like I told you you know all these items which come into the profit and loss account can broadly be categorized as attributable to six categories of people under the gross value added statement okay the first category is that of an employee right the second one was directors the third one was government taxes the fourth category was long-term finance providers the fifth category was shareholders and the last was the entity right now what happens in this case is first thing is you need to find out what is the gross value added by the company right to find that out basically what do we do we find out what items out of this particular statement are attributable to each one of these people okay so let's say when we talk about sales basically gross value added was what it is nothing but sales minus something like you know cost of goods okay here it is known as cost of bought in materials okay so we start with sales figure right and find out how much is the cost of bought in material right so if you basically see we find out sales from that we reduce cost of bought in material that gives you the value which is added by trading operations right so what we are trying to achieve here is let's say we have other income now other income is obviously not an item relating to the trading operations so whenever we try to add or compute the value of the gross value added statement we do not consider other income and what we try to do is we find out what are the expenses relating to each of these six categories when calculating cost of bought in material the cost pertaining to these people is not considered right so you pick up the sales number you don't take other incomes you reduce the cost of bought in material and you get the value added by trading operations to that we add other income and we get gross value added or GVA as it's called the reason why we exclude all these cost is once we've got this gross value added then we see how much of it goes to each of these stakeholders right and therefore you cannot include that within this now if I were to just kind of try to benchmark operating cost is it in respect of any of these categories no excise duty is a government tax okay but because the excise duty burden is not borne by us we do not consider it as a part of taxes interest on bank overdraft bank overdraft is what it is a short-term loan so it will not be forming part of long-term finance provider we will discuss each one of them in details but the idea that I want to tell you is when calculating cost of bought in material anything which pertains to these six categories is not deducted 10% debentures it's a long-term finance it goes here profit before depreciation no problem depreciation as I told you in GVA we do not reduce depreciation right instead this is considered as a reserve then profit before tax provision for tax profit proposed dividend this obviously belongs to the shareholder group so it is also not deducted right we will understand each of these categories in detail right the idea to tell you here was that you have to calculate GVA 
by taking the sales figure from that you reduce whatever is the cost of bottom material cost of bottom material excludes any item belonging to the six categories that we discussed it gives you value added by the trading operations add other income to it you get the gva